My brother, 37 male, moved in with us in February with his wife and two children. My husband, 44 male, and I have a big house on a farm. My husband is a farmer, and with everyone working from home, we thought it would be a good chance to stay together as family and for my niece to spend time on the farm. I have three children, and all of them live with us. The oldest is 18, male, and the other two are 13 and 16, both female. On the day my brother arrived, I went to buy grocery with my son, and he went to the pharmacy to get his gym supplement, and I bought the food. I saw some protections in my son's plastic bag when we arrived at the house. Two packs with 36 protection, and each has so 37 in total. Didn't think anything of it, thought he had a girlfriend, and wanted to be safe. Everything was fine, everyone got along. My sister-in-law and son would go on early morning runs around the farm. Everything seemed normal, until last month, when they left on their run. But I was up baking and never saw them make any rounds around the farm, which was weird. I asked about it and they said they decided to hit the road. I thought nothing of it, everything seemed normal. My sister-in-law and son seemed to have a very good bond. Yesterday, I was coming from a friend's house early in the morning. The sun wasn't up yet and it was a little dark. But I saw that the cabin we have in the farm was open and the light was on. I thought maybe one of the employees had forgotten to lock up. So I went to close the door and switch off the light. As I got closer, I heard people having sex. And I took a peek and it was my son and my sister-in-law having sex. I didn't confront them. I was so shocked. I still haven't told anyone what I saw. I don't know what to do. Should I confront them? Should I tell my brother? Should I tell my husband? I am so confused. I have been doing a lot of thinking. And I'm sure they have been intimate from all the protection my son bought. My son was always at the house and never brought his girlfriend. The money runs around the farm. Do they even go on a run or were they just having sex? The close relationship too. As was suggested by many of the comments, I decided to tell my husband first and proceed from there. My husband lost it. He thought I was joking at first. We talked about the issue and we decided that we should talk to our son first before telling my brother. We confronted our son with what I saw. He didn't try to deny anything, he confessed. He told us that him and sister-in-law have been intimate since February last year. My son said it started on sister-in-law's birthday party he attended. They got drunk and were intimate in the bathroom and they have been meeting at hotel ever since and sneaking off at family gatherings. After my son's confession, my husband just lost it and told my son to leave the house and go to our condo in town as he didn't want to see him in front of him at this moment. When my son was gone, my husband stomped into my brother's room and told my brother everything. Sister-in-law was not in the house at that moment. My brother lost it and packed his stuff and took the kids and left. He asked where my son had gone. He said he wanted to teach him a lesson. We didn't tell him and he eventually left. Sister-in-law didn't return. I think my brother might have called her or my son warned her and she's afraid to come back. Her things are still in the house. In all the screaming and shouting, my daughters heard everything and are devastated that their family might be ruined. They miss their brother and are afraid my husband won't let him in the house again. My husband hates all forms of infidelity to the core and has always drilled in our two eldest daughter that they must never cheat on anyone or in a relationship with someone. I know I did nothing wrong in this, but how will I ever look at my brother in the eyes again? He won't answer my calls or texts my husband said I should give him time to heal. My son left the condo because he was afraid what my brother would do to him and is not hiding at a friend's and wouldn't tell us which friend. No word on my sister-in-law. This is the end of the post. Now let's go over some of the top comments and responses from the original poster. Reader comments. The fact that your son won't tell you where he's at and nobody knows where your sister-in-law is 
has me thinking that they may be together. Original poster, this is a possibility. I even suspect my son might have warned sister-in-law because I have called the parents of his friends and none of them have seen him. Reader comment, you did the right thing, even though it wasn't easy. There was no way to do this without causing pain to everyone. Now, the first thing you should do is talk to your husband and try to reason with him. I get that he hates infidelity, but your son was 17 and drunk when this started, while your sister-in-law was a 33-year-old woman. So your son even wasn't legal when this started. It sounds like there was a lot of predatory behavior on her part, and your husband needs to realize that. This might be the perfect time to pull out the gender reversal card. For example, ask him how he would feel if his brother-in-law was intimate with his 17-year-old daughter. You really need your husband on your side to protect your son. The next thing that you need to do is to deal with your brother. Do you think he's a credible threat to your son? If so, you need to defend your child. Letting him stay out of the way while your brother simmer down is probably the best plan. But I will also find out if your brother is actively looking for him. If your brother is still trying to find him to teach him a lesson, then you need to get the authorities involved. Original poster. I really do think this woman is a predator. She was booking hotel for a 17-year-old boy, giving him allowances, having fancy dinners with him. With my brother, I don't know if he will actually hurt my son or my sister-in-law for that matter. Normally, I would say he's a nice, calm person, but under these circumstances, I don't know what he might be capable of. I want my son back home now, but my husband doesn't. He wants him at the condo. My husband even offered to hire a bodyguard or something for him if he's afraid, but my son is still with the friend we don't know.